Like other insulation materials, cellulose fiber has to meet strict government safety standards. One fire safety test assesses what's called smolder resistance. The company lab weighs a sample from the production line, then inserts a lit cigarette in it. Once the cigarette burns out, which takes an hour or two, the lab weighs the sample again. The weight loss must be less than 15%. How they make cellulose insulation isn't very complicated. It all begins with recycled paper delivered in bulk. Workers load it onto a conveyor belt, and from that point on, the entire process is automated. The paper first goes into a machine called the primary mixer. It separates the bunched up pieces, preparing them for shredding. The machine's powerful magnet removes staples, paper clips, and any other pieces of metal. From there, the paper goes into a shredder, which rips it into pieces about 5 centimeters long. The factory mixes the shredded paper with boric acid, a natural compound that acts as a fire retardant. It also makes the insulation pest resistant, and it helps fend off mold, wood decay, and corrosion. Now a machine called a fiberizer shreds the paper into tiny pieces, only about four millimeters long, and it mixes them with more boric acid. From the time the recycled paper arrives by truck to the time it comes off the line as cellulose fiber insulation, only about five minutes have passed. But the insulation doesn't leave the factory before undergoing thorough safety testing. This test assesses what's called open flammability. They heat the insulation to 50 degrees Celsius to represent the temperature of a roof in the hot sun. Then they ignite it. The flame travels, but then dies out, thanks to the boric acid. If that happens within a certain distance, the insulation is safe. Outside research firms also test the product for safety to independently corroborate the results of the company's tests. The automated packaging equipment blows 11.3 kilograms of insulation into a bag, at the same time compressing the fiber into a block. Some types of thermal insulation come as thick, rectangular blankets known as bats. You install them by hand, fitting them snugly between the wall studs. Cellulose fiber doesn't come in bats. It's known as loose fill insulation. A professional installer has to inject it between the walls. By spraying it in under pressure, it fills all the spaces without any gaps, something that's hard to do with pre-shaped bats. Insulating performance is referred to as R-value. The higher the R-value, the more effective the insulation. Cellulose fiber insulation has a higher R-value than loose fill mineral fiber insulation and, depending on which statistics you're looking at, has either the same R-value as loose fill fiberglass or a higher R-value than fiberglass. Cellulose fiber is denser than the other materials, so it better resists air movement, making it less likely to move out of place after installation.